Hi, this is Chris Salter, and I'm going to show you a simple experiment to determine the curvature of the Earth that anybody can do with a, uh, a fishing line, a two mile long fishing line, even if you have to join the fishing lines together, two stakes that you would post uh, two miles apart uh, on a, a calm body of water like a canal or, or a man-made reservoir. Um, so this is just an, uh, an example of how you would do it. But this white line represents the water line. So everything below this white line is below the water. This is the surface of the water, okay? This represents the fishing line. This is the tight fishing line. It should be very thick so it can be pulled very tight. Now if you did this above the water line, obviously a fishing line would not work because you would have sag. It would sag down because of the weight, so it's impossible to use. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get a straight, a straight solid line. The only way we can do that is if it's actually under the water. So we would place this fishing line eight inches on the first stake that's in this lake or reservoir or wherever you're at that has no waves, stay, you know, very calm water, and you'd place it eight inches below the water line. And then two miles away, you place the other stake and again, place your fishing line eight inches below the water line. You pull it very tight, like a fishing line that you could pull hundreds of pounds. Uh, it's neutral buoyancy fishing line, so it is virtually weightless in the water. That's the only way this is going to work. Now, all you have to do, once you've done that, and you have, you have it lined up eight inches here and eight inches there, because after a mile, the earth, uh, on a ball earth, the earth, the, the earth curves down by eight inches down. So in the center of a two mile distance, we have an eight inch bulge. If the earth, for example, was flat, uh, this would be approximately eight inches, just like it is on the ends. But if the earth was concave, it would basically almost be touching the surface. This line, because this line stays salt, stays straight. This is the curvature of the water. If there is curvature of the water, this is the curvature. So this would be concave, this would be flat, if the earth was flat, and this would be convex, if the earth is heliocentric ball, con convex. So concave, flat, convex. This is a simple way to determine the curvature of the earth. Very, very, very simple.